video we'll be covering uh, how to build the bracket in Autodesk Inventor Professional 2020. So here I have a split screen with uh, with the engineering sketch of the bracket and Autodesk 2020. Uh, we're going to get started by starting uh, new. Uh, we're going to go ahead and they actually designed this in metric uh, in millimeters. You can also design it in, in, in standard inches as long as you keep all the numbers the same. Uh, but f because they're using metric here, I'm going to go ahead and use standard metric. Alright, so I'm going to build this um, using the subtractive method. So I'm going to start by uh, building a rectangular prism. Um, so I need the base, the height, and the depth first. So I can build that first uh, shape. Um, as I'm looking around at the dimensions, I can see here 156 is the width, or, or yeah, the width. I can see 50 here is the depth and 87 here is the height so I'm gonna start with a let's see start rectangle I'm gonna start on the front here I'm gonna call this XY plane the front and I'm gonna build a rectangle that is 156 wide by 87 in height so I'm gonna scroll to the right here a little bit and I'm gonna go ahead and type in 156. I'm gonna hit the tab key. I'm gonna type in 87. I'm gonna zoom out, or you can also go home. Uh, that's so that would be the front. Now the depth here is 50, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to 3D model extrude, and we're gonna go. 50 distance. I'll post a copy of um, this photo here that I took of the assignment in the uh, description or somewhere. Cool. So there's my uh, rectangular prism. Uh, now we're going to use the subtractive method to uh, chip away at it. I'm going to start with the two sides here. Um, I need to find the width and height of this here so I can see it's 65 in height by looking at this 65 here with this line that comes out and the width is 32 which is demonstrated here so 32 by 65 let's go ahead and rectangle it's gonna ask me which face I want to draw a rectangle on I'm gonna draw on the front here uh, so we'll start at the top right. Make sure that you see that point, which tells you you're um, at the vertex or at the edge. I'm going to click once. I'm going to just kind of drag it out a little bit. Uh, the bottom we said had to be 32, which right here. So I'll type in 32. Hit the tab key. The height again is here, and it is uh, 65. Enter. Cool. I'm going to do the same thing on the left. Start again at the very, very uh, point here, where it's indicating that with an arrow and a, and a point. Um, again, it was 32. Tab 65. Uh, now that I have those two, um, I'm going to go 3D model, extrude, and I can select multiple profiles. Then I'm going to change it from a join to a cut hit OK and they're making some progress now we're going to do the same thing in the middle here um, looking for three things I'm looking for the, the width and the height but I'm also looking for the distance from the middle to the edge so here I can see the distance from the edge of the inner rectangle to the outer line here is 21. Here I see that the width of the inner rectangle is going to be 50. And here I see the height is going to be 58. So let's start by sketching a rectangle on the face here I'm using uh, the middle uh, scroll button by clicking to pan. 
I'm gonna start anywhere, doesn't matter where, left or right, on the on the top, but make sure that the arrow is pointing at the line, which tells us that we're on the edge. I'm gonna click once. I'm gonna drag down. And again, the width is 50, the height is 58. So I'm gonna type in 50, tab. And then 58. Now notice this is not centered at all. Um, that's why I told you you can start anywhere because now we're going to go ahead and dimension from this line to the edge. And if you remember correctly, it's supposed to be 21. And now that's perfectly centered. All right, next up, we're going to go ahead and 3D model extrude. Um, it's going to be a cut, however, it's not going to be through all, it's going to be distance. Uh, did that work? Okay, distance. Um, and if I look here on the right, you can see that the depth is 27. So we're going to try, try typing in 27 here. Now the other way you could do this is without having to change it to a cut is you could have, um, let's see if this works, join, no that had to be a cut, Never mind. that works. Okay, there is many ways to, to build this shape, um, I'm just building it the way that I know that's easiest for me, uh, but there's definitely multiple ways you can uh, work through this building this bracket. All right. So now that we have our basic shape, uh, shape um, I'm going to start with the two holes in the middle here. Uh, I'm going to start with points, and then I'm going to, uh, from the points, I'm going to, let's see here, there we go. Um, I'm going to start by placing two points in the front there, and then I'm going to dimension them. It looks like 23 from the edge, and the first one's going to be 15 from the top. The second one's going to be 42 from the top here. So let's go sketch point. Now it's asking me what face I want to put a point on. I'm going to do the front one here. Again, I'm going to pan by clicking on the scroll button. I'm going to drop one, two points just randomly. And I dropped them randomly because now I'm going to dimension. So I'll start with the first one to the top. That one is going to be 15. So I'll go ahead and type in 15, and then I'm going to click on it one more time to the edge, and that should be 23. Now the next point, same thing, I'm going to click once to the top, that one should be 42. And from the point to the edge, again, it's going to be 23. All right, um, now they're centered. So let's look at uh, what type of hole it's gonna be. So 3D model, hole, and I believe both are selected already. Uh, let's just get a better view here of the hole. No, it's not gonna work. All right, that's not gonna work. So this is going to be a simple hole, first of all. Next is V-shape here. Tells me it's going to be a countersink. So I'm going to change it to a countersink. Um, here we see the degrees is 90, uh, 20. So this is going to be 20. and 90 and then the bottom here is going to be 13 uh, let's see here 19 it's a through hole so that's that's correct it's right here it's through all so through all uh, 13 diameter at the bottom and then the top is 20 by 90 degrees so here it is 20 by 90 degrees and that looks correct so take a second to look at those settings it's a uh, simple hole 
countersink, through wall, default, 20 dimension, the, the diameter up top is 20 by 90 degrees, countersink angle, and then the d diameter of the hole itself at the bottom is 13. Uh, you could do both pro both points at once, um, the way I did it, or you can just do one at a time, that's fine as well. I'm going to hit OK, and that looks about right. Alright, next up, we're going to work on these two here. Uh, these I found that I had to do one at a time because I can only select one face at a time. So again, just place a point randomly. And now let's see how far. That's 23 from the back, 16 from the edge. So dimension 23 here. And 16 here. Now that's centered. So let's go 3D model. I'm going to have to move over here a little bit. Let's go ahead and 3D model. Hole. Uh, this one's different. So this one's going to be this U shape here. Squared off U shape means it's going to be a counter bore. So I'll change that. Uh, it's still through all. It's still default. So it says uh, 13. In diameter so the bottom is right 13 diameter but this time it's 18 at the top so I'm gonna change that to 18 and then 18 will go down 10 inches so it's gonna go down 10 inches and then it's gonna become 13 all right those are our settings hit OK that doesn't look right let's go back to my settings Oh, inches, that's what's wrong. It's 10 millimeters, that's why it looks weird. And notice uh, to edit that hole, I double clicked really quickly on hole here on the left in the browser, and that brought me uh, this, uh, this uh, properties for the hole back up. Very important to know how to use this browser when you're designing an Autodesk. All right, let's get to the other side here. We're going to... Uh, again, sketch point on this other side here. That looks weird. There we go. Again, dropping a point randomly. Um, it's the same. It's uh, still 16 uh, and 23 from the back. So dimension 16 from the edge and 23 from the back. Uh, let's go 3D model, hole, and the nice thing is that all the settings should be saved from that last one, so all you got to do is hit OK, and there's our basic bracket. Now we have to um, go to, let's see, 3D model, uh, we're going to do the chamfer here, um, so we're going to do 10 millimeters for this inside. That doesn't look right, does it? No, it should be rounded off. That doesn't look right. Let's just do it, see what it looks like. Let me see if it, if it cleans up when I hit apply. Nope, did not clean up. All right, let's try and figure this out. Control Z to go back. Um, let's see here. Oh, maybe it's fillet. Yeah, that's what it was, fillet, not, cha not, not chamfers, fillet. See if that looks better. Uh, we're going to change this to 10. And then there it is. Cool. So it's the fillet tool. Um, do that one there. 
So, so at 10, I'm going to do these four here. Uh, apply. And then change it to 2. And pretty much do everything else at 2. Just go around every edge. Almost done here. Oh, that wasn't it. Oh, I gotta start over. I'll switch my view in just a second here so I can get a better view of the other side and not make that mistake again. There we go. And that is our bracket. Hit apply. Uh, you can go ahead and change the color if you'd like. We'll just change it to polished green. That looks horrible. We'll go. brushed I will go with that all right that is a bracket start to finish uh, thank you for watching